What's up, folks? How you doing? This is Rob Reese Moore RC back at you with a video. And today, um, we're going to be working on the... I'm going to open this guy up, um, see how it looks. As you can see, we got the truck disassembled. Um, we're going to get it cleaned up and nice and neat so I can work on it. Got the tank um, with uh, put nitro fuel in it. We're going to clean her up. Um, funny... These um, these hubs here, guys, are not 17. They're way bigger. So I have to get a, a different wrench for it. Um, these are not for... These are definitely not... They're 12, 13, neither, neither... I think they're like four, maybe 14 millimeters. Um, or I, I know they're not normal because um i have to use this guy to open her up actually so yeah that's the only way i could open up so i'm gonna have to get some um a wrench and um and some sockets for it to install them and and take them out but everything is looking good we just got to get all that cleaned up i'm getting ready to get some soap some water brush her off clean her up make it a little bit more cleaner to work on but the good news is let me put you guys here um i cleaned up the engine a little bit didn't go too crazy with it but i did clean up the engine let's turn on the light so you can see what we're looking at here we'll work on this force engine right here um check this out guys it's moving and it has compression it's still pinch on that. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take this thing. We're going to disassemble it. We're going to see how it looks. Uh, interested. We're going to see how the bearings are feeling. I think this thing is pretty good. I think it's in good condition. I don't think we're going to have issues with it, to be honest. But we're going to go ahead. Um, let's see what we're using here. Okay. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and um, get, get this thing um, disassembled. And we're going to work on it. Make sure everything's okay inside. Make sure that, I mean, could be whoever um, had this engine before broke it in. And hopefully did a good break in. But, yeah, it's under, it's with me now. So, of course, it's going to be run with good fuel. Um, I don't know what type of fuel the guy was running on this thing. It's definitely, um, definitely different. It's not, um, normal. Some weird fuel in there, to be honest, guys. But we're going to go ahead and, we're gonna, you know, see what we're looking at here. Get a, a deep dive into this thing. That, that was loose. That's normal. Um, it's normal for that, for it to be loose. Okay. All right, and this is what we're looking at, guys. Check that out. All right, there's something there. Definitely oil. There is oil in there. Um, sleeve looks good. Just dirty, guys, to be honest. Eh, it's just dirty. Pretty dirty in there. Let's go ahead and get that, um... Let's get that sleeve out of there. See how she looks. How we do that. See if we can get it out. Let me see if this is going to work. Let me see if I can get a good grip on it. Hold on, guys. Cause I'm trying to. Ooh, all right. Well, that ain't gonna work. Hmm. All right, so that ain't coming off easy, huh? But tell you what, it looks pretty damn neat. Look at that. Focus. It looks nice. Not bad. Looks legit. All right. Guess we can heat her up. 
See if she wants to come out once we heat her up. Guess we could do that. Heat up the block and see what we could do. Maybe it'll come out. Uh, there's got to be a way to get these sleeves out. I know there is a way to do it. I'm going to see if I can find another way to do it. This is a big heat sink, guys. This is a huge heat sink. Look at that. Look how big that is. That is huge. <laughs> it's insane. You see that? It's like weird sludge on that. It. It's probably nitro fuel that the guy was using. Let's see if we can get this thing um, moved. The um, clutch belt feels a little bit rough. Might need new bearings. We're going to check that out. This is stuck, frozen completely. So we're going to oil that up, get that open. Let's heat up the engine real quick. I'm going to get this thing nice and hot. See if it wants to come out. Woo! Oh, that's hot. Alright. Alright, hold on guys. I want to go off camera to get this thing out. There we go. She's coming out. See if we can. Woo! Well. That, that's hot. That's hot. Come on, baby. Come out. There we go. Come out. Die. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Definitely coming out. Let's get her nice and smooth. There we go. All right. Get this thing out. Let's see if we can get this thing out. Uh, Definitely got to find another way to get these um, these sleeves out. I, I mean, I would use zip ties. The thing about zip ties, they they break easy. Let's see, All right, hold on. They do break easy. The zip ties, for some reason, especially on an engine like this, it hasn't been open in so long. They really do break easy. So, try to use something a little bit tougher. Oh, we got it out. All right. So, so we got the sleeve out. Let's see how the sleeve is looking, guys. Let's see what we're looking at this, with the sleeve. All right. Check that out, guys. Ooh, look at that. Fangs in it. Not bad. Not bad. Look at that. It looks pretty cool. Inside looks nice. Feels good. No scratches. Just a lot of stickiness not bad not bad at all feels good i tell you what it feels pretty um new to me feels like it wasn't used that much it wasn't really beat up you know what i mean feels real nice looks good the outside i ain't worried about this but look at this see that i just the fangs right here See the fangs? Not too deep. Big opening. That's not bad. We don't have to worry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and take this off. Um, go ahead and... Um, uh, 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 uh. Let's take off the pull start real quick so we can get into the back. We're looking good. All right, we're looking good. Out of all the engine, this one was not that bad. 
It was dirty. I, I did clean her up. I did brush off the outside so I could at least work with it. I don't like to work. Like you guys know, it's kind of, you know, you're working with dirty um, stuff. It's not that great. So let's make sure this thing don't pop out. All right. Look at that. So we know that the one-way bearing is, is working. Oh, this is nice. You see that? It's, it's, it's Two stars working good. Not bad at all. So the pool start is good. Not bad. So we got good pool start. We got a good one way bearing. One way bearing is, is good. Not bad. So we got a good one way bearing. All right, let's get in here and see what we're looking at here. You know what? Um, other than this guy used this thing up and never cleaned it up, it feels good. Does feels good. I'll tell you that. Everything seems like I said, it doesn't seem like it was completely destroyed, to be honest. It wasn't abused. It seems that it was used normally, but not destroyed. So and I'm not gonna clean up these parts, guys. Let's be honest. This thing, I mean, I'm gonna leave it like it is. Those stains, I will have to use a special equipment, which I, a lot of you guys do have. I think, what the hell are they called? Jet cleaners, whatever they're called. I, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you guys, especially like, um, it's, it's like you put this inside like a little, I don't know. I, well, you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't have that in my, in my position, in my house to deal with that. So... I'm, I'm just doing this to lube her up, you know what I mean, get her nice and smooth again, check the bearings, make sure the bearings are good on it, and that's what I want to do, so let's make sure this thing, wow, tell you what, probably one of the e easiest used old engines to pop open, look at that, holy crap, so yeah, it will need cleaning. <laughs> Wow, that is, um, that is, yeah, check that out, wow, um, that is crazy, it will need cleaning, okay, so it does need some cleaning, um, but it was oiled, it had oil in it, I mean, it can't ask for much, you know what I mean, at least whoever had it actually put a whole bunch of oil in the damn thing, um, looks like, looks like, looks like doo-doo. <laughs> that is just nasty whatever the hell that was or it could be natural fuel just you know yeah so let's go ahead and um remove some of this stuff i'll remove some of this stuff later on i'm just trying to the gasket right here is pretty good condition so this tells me that this car this motor wasn't used that much wow that is bad look at that that is it's coming to the front wow uh well let's go ahead and um yeah we're gonna go ahead let me put a pause we're gonna get a tissue and and have that leak up and we're back guys uh just wanted to get um whatever this is out of there you know what i mean it's pretty bad look at that um the heat of the I think what happened was the heat, when I started heating up the engine, this just started getting loose and wet again. I guess, um, yeah, that's what happened. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, doesn't want to, all right. There we go. Oh, piston is out. Now, that's a big piston. Look at that. That's a big piston, guys. Compared to a 21, I think this is big. Everything about this truck is big, guys. No pun intended, but everything is like, look at that. That's not bad at all, guys. That's pretty neat. I like that, the way it, you know, feels good. Feels good. All right. Let's um, go ahead and... Um, 
the spring in it is still good. Let's see, uh, yeah, it's sticky. It does need a cleaning. I mean, I think once it starts, um, once I crank her up, I think she'll be okay. I think all that would just burn out. Other than that, there's no rust in the engine whatsoever. Check this out, guys. No rust. Rust free. Most of the engines that I purchased have rust all over them. This is not bad. This is pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and get this um, get this out because I can feel bearings are not. You know they don't feel that bad, but you can tell that that they're um, they're a little bit rough. Might have to put new bearings in it. So I got bearings, extra bearings in the in my two boxes. So let's go ahead and see what we could do here. Oh wow, this is uh, good, good, good grip. All right, we're good. Try to leave everything the way I found it. All right. Whoop! Don't want that to go nowhere. I'm gonna put that right there. Let's make some space. I definitely need more workspace, man. I need to find more workspace. Okay, so let's get this out. All right. Oh wow, this is not not coming out. Feels good. Feels good. I don't feel bad. Let's get a flathead and see if we can wedge it in there and see if we can get this out. There we go. Nice. Check that out. Hold on, guys. Check this out. Look at that. Um, weird. There's no... Check. Look at that. That is... That is not supposed to do that. Huh. It's strange. It's not supposed to be like that, is it? That is so weird. It's not... Okay, um, that is weird. It's not so... Um, that's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to have some tension to it. Um, that is strange. That don't make any sense. This don't make any sense. This don't, this is weird. Well, bearings feel good. I think a little bit, they, they, they look good. Yeah, they look good. Oh, yeah, they look real good. They're still good. Nice and smooth. You could tell this thing was not... It's just dirty. Most like... It's just dirty. Just dirty. That's all it is. It's super dirty. It just needs to be cleaned out. We'll clean out these bearings. Um... Got to clean them out. Yeah. We'll put this inside, get it cleaned out. Uh, but this is weird. It's not supposed to do that. At all. These things are not supposed to do that. And I could go ahead and put new ones in here. It's no... No tension. It's like, it's weird. No, I don't know. Is that normal? I don't know if that's normal, guys. That is weird. You would think this had to, unless he put it the wrong way, whoever had it before me installed it the wrong way, but that's not supposed to be like that. That is not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to go like this. And then, yeah, he installed it the wrong way. See? He installed it the wrong way. That's why there was no tension. I, I, I found that weird. That's not, that is not supposed to be like that. <laughs> so the guy, whoever had installed it the wrong way, and that's why I probably stopped using it. 
got pissed off. Oh, Nitro sucks. Well, uh, my guy, you, you installed it the wrong way. Of course, it's going suck if you install it the wrong way. So, yeah. So, yeah, I definitely installed it the wrong way. I, I see now. Definitely see the problem right there. That was... That, that was... I thought I'd use that, but... No, we're going to go ahead and use this guy right here and see if we can get a good grip on it. There we go. Definitely put Loctite on this in the future when I put it back. See if this thing comes off. Mm, you know, let's see if we could just... Nah, it's not going to make it easy on me. So we're going to go ahead and bring the big guns out. All right. Love this thing. Don't regret buying it whatsoever. Damn. All right. It's definitely not coming off. flywheel let's grab this flywheel real quick <laughs> yeah that had to happen <sighs> yep all right we're we're good all right okay let me see if we can do it a little bit better now uh this thing for some odd reason does that i'm about to put something flat on it oh there we go there we go we're good. All right. Got the flywheel out. Uh, hmm. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Cool. Let's see how this berry feels. Slushy. Real slushy. It feels real slushy. Let's put some 3 and one in. W40 in there, see what happens. Let's put the 3-1 in there. Let's put some there. Let's see what happens now. Break her in. There we go. Yeah, she's just slushy as hell. Oh, wow. It is just slushy. There we go. There we go, we got it. We got it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. She's waking up. Oh, yeah. Let's get her in there. All right. Hmm. Let's see what we get. She is stuck in there, guys. Oh, yeah. No, it's not want to come off. Oh, yeah. She does not want to come off. Hmm. It's weird. Why is that like that? Look at that. This guy, um... Yeah. Yeah. Definitely weird. That is weird. All right, me uh. There we go. Let's get this thing out. Jesus, 
Damn. Oh, wow. Bearings feel good. Oh, yeah. Feels nice. They feel, I mean, they feel new. They just need to be lubed. They do feel new. It's just slushy. It's like whatever this stuff is, it's in there and it's just causing trouble. I don't know what the hell is this stuff, but it's definitely causing issues. These are, guys, these, I think these are ceramic bearings. Yeah. These are ceramic bearings. Let's get her nice and cleaned out a little bit. I mean, I can't really, really see it because it's filled with slush. But I think, hold on, maybe, I think maybe I can get, oh shit, oh, okay. Get in there. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I think they're... No, nah, they're sealed. They're steel, but it's like... Huh. I think they're ceramic, guys. It's just dirty. This needs to be cleaned out. Big time. This whole block needs to get cleaned out. It's... Filled with that slush. Wherever the hell the guy had in there is filled with that. I'm going to get this thing cleaned out. And then use W40 in there. But it does feel real nice. Feels good. Feels real good. This one in the front also feels nice. They feel new. They actually feel... The engine looks like it was not used that long. Um, like there was not that many tanks put through it, right? It does feel like it was not that many tanks put through it, but it's, he let nitro fuel, he probably left it with, you know, nitro fuel inside and just let it sit there for years and it became just what this is, sludge. Now, I could go ahead and leave it like it is and just put everything back in here, which I will. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just put three and one in there and... um let it soak in there real good instead of wait, you know, cleaning it out. And because I think that's what I could do, just go ahead, clean it out with three um, W40. That looks pretty clean. Look at that. I put W40 in there, and it does look better now. Look at that. It does look good, feels good, it feels nice and smooth now. So yeah, I think we're gonna just leave it like that. We're just gonna go ahead, put three three and one in there, clean it out with three and one. Well, no, no, no not not three and one. Just put W forty in there, and just let the W forty soak in, and then three and one on it. We should be good, huh? All right, see that? I think um, feels good though. Feels real good. No lights are coming through, so it's sealed, it's working. It's a good bearing. There's no light going through, so it's nice and sealed. So that's good news. That's real good news, guys. Let's check this out. Check this um, sh shaft real quick. See what you guys think about it. Look at that. Looks real nice. Look at that. Wow, look at that. It's dirty though. It's that like sludge all over it. But I think with three and one, we could put three and one in there. And once I start getting, you know, getting it running, it'll, it'll look better. Go ahead and see what we got to do with this. Let me see. Let's see if we can get in there real quick. Yeah, it's like he he just left like nitro fuel in here. He just left it sit there for years. There you go. There you go. Hold on, guys. Put three. Put W40 in there. W40 does clean up a little bit. Not, not like you know what you guys, you know, use like that jet clean. It's not gonna do it like that. But you know what? It, I, I see it like it's going to heat up. It's going to burn nitro. 
it'll clean itself up on its own with fuel, right? Once the fuel starts going in there. So I'm just trying to get as nice, you know, try to remove as much of that sludge as I can off of it. And I'll let the nitro do its thing. So that's what we're going to do. But look at that now. Look at that now. Check the fang right there. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Pretty set, nice setup for a um, a force engine from Ofna, right? So we got this. Now we got to figure this out. We got to figure out why this won't move. Now, it, there you go. It's moving now. There you go. I think um, get some three and one in, and four. W40 in there. Help it break loose. There we go. There we go. It's breaking loose now. There we go. Yeah, he just let it sit for a long time, guys. Just let it sit. There we go. We're breaking it in now. Man, this thing looks good. It looks real good, guys. Looks real good. I ain't gonna lie. But you know what makes me think? This guy was using the freaking Traxxas fuel. I could tell because of the blue tint. See that blue tint? Using um, Traxxas fuel. I, you know, folks, look, guys, I know when you buy a, a Traxxas vehicle, they tell you get these um, Traxxas fuel. Guys, Traxxas fuel, it's not good, man. Don't use tracks of fuel, guys. Don't do that. Don't don't put your engine through that. But that's what it looks like. It looks like he was using um, tracks of fuel on this thing. In fact, all these stains feel like it's like it was you know tracks of fuel. Because I seen um, tracks of vehicles, um, and you'll see these these stains on them. These sludge. Trust me, guys. Don't use that stuff. That that thing is just horrible. We're going to try to get it as clean as I can. I ain't going to worry about super clean, but that's clean enough right there, guys. What do you guys think? Doesn't that look pretty nice? We'll get a little, a little buff there, make it look nice. It should be okay. I think we're good. I think um, once that... W40 kicks in there, you know, let it sit there for a while. Should be good. I think we're good. Still a little bit tough. I think it's just got to soak in there. It's still sludge in there. That's what it is. A lot of sludge. There we go. Way better now. Way better now, I'll tell you that. Let me take this off. Remove this for a bit. Yeah, she just... I think that's better. She's moving now. Alright, it is moving now, guys. Put W40 in there, let it soak in. Then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll throw 3-in-1. Yeah, it's definitely a huge gap. That's a huge gap. Yeah, that's a huge gap right there. We got to do something about that gap now. Can I have a gap that big? Let's see if it even opens. Okay, let's, let's open her up. That's how a gap... That's the type of gap you guys want. I mean, in case you guys were wondering, the idle gap, that's what you guys want. That's the gap you want right there. You see that gap? So this car needs to get cleaned out. I'm going to go ahead and clean her out. Um, let's get this carb cleaned out. Just notice it needs to be cleaned out on the inside. Get this thing.
Yeah, she definitely needs to be cleaned out for sure. Let me see what else we're looking at here. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Damn. Definitely, um, look at that. Wow, that's, that's pretty bad. Yeah, wow. Definitely some cleaning. Definitely some cleaning, guys. Well, there we go. It's that sludge. It's just big. It's a lot of sludge there. A lot of sludge, guys. We're going to have to get her cleaned out. There you go. I'm not going to use soap or anything like that but you could tell look at that check this out guys check that out look at that look at that look at that sludge see that see if you guys can see it from here bring it in see that look at that definitely need some cleaning you're gonna have to really get deep in there and um let her soak in with three and one and then um Put, well, yeah, let her soak in with 3-in-1, get everything nice and lube before we put it back together. And I think we're good. But, yeah, guys, this is a video on the um, opening up the um, Force engine. Off the point thirty two. Thought you guys wanted to see how it looked, what we're looking at, the situation on it. And I'll be honest with you guys, not bad. It looks okay. It looks good. Looks okay, guys. It, don't look, it does not look bad at all. You know what I mean? Looks okay. Looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm going to just go ahead and clean her up with three um, W40. Get it nice and clean. Get all that sludge out. That's that. Whatever that is, it needs to be definitely cleaned out that sludge is pretty heavy I'm, I'm sure I mean once you crank her up she'll get loose on her own check that out look at the bearings on that check check the check that out put the w40 baby look at that feels nice and smooth now nice and smooth guys Check that out. Bearings feel real nice. Let's check something out before I shut this video. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do this. Wow, that is tight. No movement. I'm telling you guys, I think this thing is new. I think this engine is. Knew it. He just didn't clean her up. He just put it away with fuel inside of it, and that and that caused it to to um turn to gel and turn into whatever the hell's that sludge. Um, this is a new engine. I, I'm starting to think this guy. Let's check out the pinch on this thing. Let's check the pinch on this thing real quick. Put some um. You know, we're gonna put three and one, of course, guys. I ain't gonna. I ain't going to show that process. You guys seen it hundreds of times. A2RC is a pro when it comes to that. Nitro Talk with, with, with Todd, that he's a pro with that. So you guys want to see stuff like that, go, with, go to their channels. They're pros on that, right? This is me just opening up because I'm curious to see how bad the engine is inside. So let's go ahead um, and uh, let's do this. Let's see what's the pinch on this thing. Yep. Holy crap, guys! That's the pinch. This is it. this is a new engine. 
this engine doesn't has not even a gallon, not even a gallon put through it. This engine doesn't has a gallon put through it. This the engine is new. And the, the guy just, I think what happened, this is what happened. I don't think this engine's broken in. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I highly doubt that this engine's broken in. I mean, if it was, if it had gallons put through it, guys, literally, you would not have that much pinch. That is a lot of pinch. Look how much. Look at that. That's a lot of pinch, guys. So, I'm starting to think this engine, this engine was not broken in at all. And the reason why is he did not install the clutch shoes properly, causing these to open up and having the car move. He probably said, this damn engine is garbage. It's not working right. And just quit on it and didn't, didn't deal with it anymore. I think that's what happened to me. Um, definitely what happened. Because this seems to be too, too new. Way too new. It's just filled with sludge in it. I think if I disassemble it, maybe not. Maybe you just got to. Soak it with um, W40 and it'll, it'll do what it's got to do. I think that's what it needs. Just got to get soaked. I think that's... There you go. There you go. Perfect. There you go. That's what it needed just to get soaked. It does need to be cleaned out though. So yeah, I think that's what happened, guys. I think that this dude did install the clutch shoes right. Look at that. This is slush everywhere. Sludge everywhere. This dude did not install the clutch shoes right. When he tried to break in the engine, couldn't figure out why it was not, you know, idling right and quit on it. Left it with fuel. Left it with fuel, filled with fuel. Didn't care. Put it away and quit on it. And says, screw it. This is old. This is from the original one, I'm sure. This is old also. No, no. This is part of... This is the... Um, you know what I mean? I think... I mean, it just doesn't seem like it was broken in completely, to be honest, guys. Check that out. It looks pretty sweet, huh? Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know on the comments. You guys think that this is... The engine is... This engine was not broken in completely? I think... Um, I'm just looking at it, guys, as he didn't break it in completely. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I think he quit on it. The, the, the as You guys saw that the clutch shoes were not installed right, man. It was They were loose. They were opening up like no issues. So I think, to me, that's what happened. He didn't know how to do it right. He didn't install the clutch shoes the right way and said, screw it, and just... Quit on it, to be honest. I'm sure that's nice. Oh, there you go. I'm going to clean this up. It smells like pure nitro, like oil. Unless this guy literally went ahead and put engine oil in this thing. Because that's what it smells like, oil. It smells like oil. Like... Like dirty oil that's been sitting for months. That just penetrated everywhere, to be honest. But I think once I, I go ahead and... Um, I think once I go ahead and um, use 3 and one on all these parts, she'll be smooth. We just got to get her... Get, get that soaked in, in there real good and... We should be okay. I think that's good enough right there. I think that's... Check that out. With time, she'll get loose. Once she starts heating up, she'll get looser. She is clean. I checked her out. She is super clean inside. Nothing's wrong with it. So, uh, I don't think that engine's completely broken in. 
Um, to be honest, I don't think it was ever broken in the right way. Um, I think it needs to... That's just too much pinch. Way too much of a tight pinch. For it to fully be broken in. I don't see any wear on the piston whatsoever. You normally, when you, you will see wear, I mean, you see it dirty. Looks like it was ran, but it wasn't, it wasn't ran for many, many tanks. I think it was ran for maybe a couple tanks until he quit on it. It just seems too new. Check that out. It just seems way too new, to be honest. I mean, this right here, I mean, could be, maybe he put a tank, maybe a gallon through it, maybe. I mean, yeah, he could have broken it in. I just think that's too much pinch, guys. That's where it goes. That's how far it goes, guys. That's how far it goes. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing oiled up with 3-in-1. We're going to go ahead and install the clutch bell the right way. The correct way. Use Loctite on the um, clutch um, nut. Because I don't like to not have Loctite on this stuff. Because they do loosen up with time. You know, it's good to put a little bit of Loctite on it. Um, we're going to go ahead and make sure that these bearings are cleaned out. Let's go ahead and put some 3-in-1 um, in, in there. Um, like I said, oil it up. Put her back, get the chassis nice and clean, get everything nice and clean on the chassis, put this back on, and crank her up. Um, put a receiver in it, of course. I need a receiver for it. Uh, um, check these out. I'm going to make sure these are working right before I install them, because if they're not, we're not going to use them. So that's what we're going to do. Um, if you guys want to see all that happening, press the like button on this video. Put some comments in there. You guys want to see that. For now, I'm going to just let this thing sit with um, with um, W40 and get it nice and soaked. And let it soak up there and then go ahead and put some 3-in-1 in there. Other than that, she's pretty clean inside, guys. Not bad, huh? Not bad for a $100 RC with a .32 engine. Not bad, huh? I think I, I think I, I think I got a good deal on it. All right. Um, oh, oh, sorry about that, folks. We're good, we're still live. Okay, so yeah. Um, like I said, for a hundred bucks with a point thirty two force engine, that's a good buy. Good deal. Chassis just dirty as hell. Just got to get cleaned up. Everything's complete. Just needs a receiver. And that's it. Um, check this out, guys. I uh, I noticed that a lot of everybody everybody has a Traxxas Revo in their lot and their crew. I have one also. Traxxas Revo coming in for the completely. I do have an engine for it. Um, I'm gonna use the point nineteen in that sucker, and. Uh, we're going to make it different. We're going to make it different. Put some... That's the older version. That's the 2003 version of the Revo. So that's like the second stage of the Revo. It's not the new ones that a lot of people are getting nowadays. It's like... You can say it's vintage. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put a .19 in it. Uh, we're going to get rid of the um, opti drive crap. We don't need that on it. And uh, put my own receiver in it, my own transmitter. Uh, we're gonna make it my way, like like Burger King says, make it your way. So we're gonna make it my way. That that Revo is gonna be my way. It's not gonna be a, a Traxxas. I was thinking about doing the big block conversion on it. I'm not dealing with that. I I saw a lot, you know, a lot of stress on doing that. So we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with a point nineteen in it. It's a straight. You know, installation. You don't have to worry too much about it. So that's gonna be another project. It's gonna sit there. It's got to. It's got to get. I got that one for a hundred. So yeah, a hundred for that one. Um, I figure, why not? I have an engine for it. I have parts for it. I have wheels. I just gotta get. Us, uh, we're gonna 
Change the thing has 12 millimeter hubs on it for 17 so I can put bigger wheels on it. We're going to make this a Monster Revo. Monster Revo. If I could, it would it would be using this. But these are not 17 millimeter axe hubs. They're not. These are different. These are not 17 millimeter um, hubs. They're not. I don't know what the hell they are, but they're not 17 millimeters. They're way different. This right here tells me this is literally, this is, this came with the truck. Because, let me show you guys. Um, these hex are not, they're not 17 at all. So, these are not 17 whatsoever. They are bigger than that. Um. Check this out, guys. Check these um nut. Let's go ahead. Look how big those things are. All right. Check this out. We're going to look for a 17 millimeter. Seventeen millimeter wrench. Can't fit. These are bigger than 17 millimeters. Check this out. So they're not they're not 12. They're not 14. I'm guessing they're 15s. And this is what it you use that you put it here. So we're gonna put this here. We're gonna get it nice and cleaned up. We're gonna lube her up. So yeah. They're not 17 millimeter hex hubs. Hubs, they're not. So I don't know what they are um, by the looks of it. These are the only wheels that is going to fit. So these are the only wheels that it will only use. So it will be stuck with those wheels. I'm, I, hey, I don't mind. These are beautiful, big wheels. Look, look, look at that. Look how big these guys are. Look how big they are. These things are huge. I mean, they're bigger than the um, Big Joes. <laughs> Look at that. Bigger than the Big Joes, guys. Check that out. These are like fifth scale type of wheels. If you look at them, check this out. That's my fifth scale buggy. Bigger than a fifth scale Bigger than Fiscal wheels. Look at that. So, yeah, these are huge wheels, guys. So, can't wait to get this thing running. Can't wait to get her cleaned up, get her running. I think she'll be an easy starter. I don't have to go through hell with it. So, it's going to be super awesome. We're going to get this thing running. And you guys will see a video on it. Um, you will be seeing a video on tuning this engine up on this truck. I will get back to it, guys. It's just been raining every single day. It's right now, it's starting to rain outside again. So every single day has been raining. It's been horrible. So you will be seeing a tuning video on the MGT and a running video on this big, big beast right here. So yeah, thanks for watching. Remember, guys, hit the like button and subscribe. Rolling out. Yeah, baby. Let's go.